Thank you, Lawrence. Congratulations, first winner of the day. Well done. Okay, now this is the pre-war touring open class, and Katie here has decided to do it closed. We'll be having words with her later. Did you not get the memo, Katie? Pre-war touring open. So Katie, she's got here the 1912, the Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost, and we're delighted to present the winner's award to you for this class. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, Katie. We shall see you at the gala dinner later on tonight. Well done. Big round of applause, please. Our first class winner of the day. Okay, the next car, please, guys. Stand up. <laughs> Pre-war touring closed now. And this goes to our wonderful Belgian friend who's entered many, many cars here before at Sun and Prive. It goes to Mihai Negrescu with his 1932 Bentley 8 litre. Congratulations, guys. I'm thrilled to bits for you. Very well done indeed. Well done, Mihai. Thank you very much indeed. We'll see you later. Okay, and the winning car, the class winner for the pre-war touring closed. I don't think it's a surprise to many people today at all. It's the 1935 Avion Voisin C25 Aerodine, owned by Peter and Marla Mullin. Peter and Murder, I did see you on the lawns earlier on, so if you are around, please do come up and let's have a photograph with you and your car. Thank you. So, the next class. We're going to move straight on to the winner of this class as the runner-up has also received something very special later on. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, pre-war sports racers, is the 1931 Alfa Romeo 60 Grand Sports Spider by Aprile, and it's owned by Carrado Lopresto. Congratulations, Carrado. Carado, congratulations. I know your English has improved, so um, what does it mean to win this award? I am very happy, very happy. Thank you very much. Thank you too, Carado. Congratulations. A beautiful machine. Okay, next is competition cars. Runner-up is the 1934 Bentley Bonato Assam Special. Owned by Jorg Lemberg. Many, many congratulations. And the winner of Class G Competition Cars, once again, a Peter Mullen car, 1937, Denehe 145 million from, driven by Mr. Matt Sharp, I believe. Today, and a 
and a second winner. Uh, Peter does know how to. Peter Mullen has the most incredible collection, and you're going to see a lot more of Peter Merler and his collection coming to the Cotswolds area very soon with their own new amazing automotive museum in Great Chew. So thank you, Peter. Now the runner-up, please, next is the Ferrari 330 GT2 Plus 2, 1965, owned by Mark Holmes. And I think that's Mr. Ian Farkaway driving there. Congratulations. And that's, can I just say Farkaway as well, very quickly. They do all the support and they're the technicians on the ground for us throughout our whole tour and all of the comp tour. So we're really indebted to Farkaway's guys for what they do for Salon three Oh, okay. Congratulations. Thank you. And the winner. A very deserved winner, very popular people and car here at Salon Privé and indeed at Concours events across the world is the 1954 Ferrari 250 GT Europa Vignali, one of one, driven by Jaime and JT Muldoon. Congratulations guys, we're so thrilled for you. Jaime, as you've got out the car, as you've got out the car, that means you get a microphone. <laughs> a privilege, and thank you so much for Andrew and David Bagley and Gats. This team come true for us. Thank you all. Mrs. Muldoon wants the trophy or champagne? Which one? Oh, both. You want the trophy filling with champagne? They do do it in styles, the Muldoons. I'll give them that. Congratulations, guys. We shall see you later on tonight. Okay, post-war British coach built. Completely in keeping with Bernard Palace, quintessentially English. Here is the 1965 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud 3, owned by Robert Gaines Cooper. And again, Robert has entered many, many cars here at Salon Privé every year. And so we're delighted that once again he's taking home some silverware. You've seen the judges all day long. These are the guys that have um, judged on these cars from quarter past eight this morning right through till one o'clock. They also had a lot of pre-event communication on all the cars, so they knew them very well before they even came to Salon Privé. There's a lot of investigative work that goes on beforehand and also on the show field. So once again, to all of my judges, thank you so much for all the work that you've done. Well done, congratulations. And the winner, very, very fitty, ben Bentley celebrating their centenary this year. Jonathan Lyons with his 1953 beautiful Bentley R-Type Continental. A majestic and beautiful winner. Very fitting once again here at the beautiful Blenheim Palace. Don't forget your champagne, it's, it's Pomery's finest. Congratulations once again. Thank you very much for bringing up. Okay, now the Ferrari Americas. This class is dedicated to high-end, premium V12 Ferraris that were built in the late 60s for the very 
very discerning collector, very expensive V12 Colombo engines. A beautiful example here from David Moore with his 1966 Ferrari 500 Superfast. Congratulations. Thank you very much, and our best to David, please. Thank you. Okay, post-war touring open. Again, this beautiful cab didn't get the memo, and we've been sent... Ah, here we go, right. 1952, it's Dennis Garrity with his 342 America Cabriolet. A stunning, stunning car. Dennis has brought the whole family, four of them, son, daughter, wife as well, over from America. This car was recently at Pebble Beach and it's brilliant to see them ship it straight from Pebble here to San Prive and it's very exciting and pleasing for us for it to go home with an award. An absolutely beautiful example. Dennis, congratulations. And again, the epitome of British quintessential driving style is the 1948 Jaguar XK120 drophead coupe from Mr. and Mrs. Alston. Congratulations to you guys. I love this car and the colour combination. Well done. Absolutely stunning restoration. Congratulations once again. And the winner of this class, post war touring open, is none other than a guy called Bob Bishop, who, if you all look at the brochure you'll have received today, is actually last year's best of show winner with his Pagani Type 55 Roadster. Bob is back once again. And once again, the cars that Bob owns, you can see, are restored to absolute perfection. The judges could find nothing wrong with this. It's a Ferrari 250 GT long wheelbase California Spider prototype. And Bob, let me just say, Bob, back again, year two, another class win. What does this mean? Oh, it's just, I, I love being here, and it's just a, a wonderful uh, show, and it's just so. Um, comfortable to be here. It's just, it's just, um, you know, there's a lot of, this is just, to me, this is my day. Thank you, Bob, and thank you for bringing it once again. Congratulations. Okay, post-war touring closed a really, really hotly fought class, this one. And as class runner-up, we have the 1953 Fiat 8V Rappi Corsa, owned by Jan de Rey, the Otto Bull, absolutely beautiful. You might have to come out and join us, Derp. <laughs> Congratulations, once again. Thank you, Dirk, once again for bringing Jan's cars. We hope to see you again next year, I'm sure. So, the winner of post war touring closed. A, a car that really caught the eyes of the judges yesterday, can you believe, when this car toured 120 miles around the Cotswolds, back to Sarah and Sestrum back. And these guys, we are so delightful to Robert Vienna for bringing this car to Salon Privé. 
Congratulations, guys, once again. When you get a chance, maybe afterwards, before we have to kick you out here, have a look at the interior of this car. It's just super stunning. This car, ladies and gentlemen, won Shanti Best of Show a couple of months ago. And once again, another car that's come straight from another prolific show straight here to Salon Privé. So Robert, Robert, let's have a couple of words. So, hold on a second. Top of Largo, T26, Fastback Coupe, simply stunning car. You get runner-up at Pebble Beach, best to show at Chantilly. What's next? We will see. <laughs> He's supposed to say best to show at Salon Privé, but he didn't get the memo. Prepare right. for everything, yeah. <laughs> many, many congratulations. Fully deserved it. Beautiful, beautiful car. Thank you for bringing it. Thank you guys, congratulations. And while we're getting the next car up here, quick little story. We, um, about three, four years ago, we couldn't get one short wheelbase here at Startup Privé. Today we have six. Three road, three competizioni. And here we have the winner in the class, Nigel and Sarah Allen with a 1962 Ferrari 250 GT short wheelbase. Congratulations, Nigel and Sarah. Nigel, a few words. You, uh, you've been to Salon Privé a few times. Won Best yes, of yeah. Show as well. What's it like to be back? Well, Sarah won Best of Show with Cal Spider. And I, I won the People's Choice with the uh, 275 GTB4. Um, it's wonderful to be back. And as you know, we're great supporters and fans of this show. Andrew, you've done a great job again. Thank you. You're supposed to talk about your car, Nigel, not us. But congratulations, well done. Thank you very, very much. That's the road version. These short wheel bases are also raced and raced hard. None other than the winner that we have here. Please tell me he can start. Good. And this is. Um, it's from a private collector, that's all I can tell you. Every now and again, we get block collectors who wish for anonymity, and this is one such car. It's a Ferrari 250 GT Berninetta Passo Corto Competizione Seatback 1961, and this is the car the judges unanimously decided was the class winner. <laughs> Many congratulations and thank you very much for bringing us. Now, no concourse should be complete without a look to the future. So what you'll see from Santa Prive coming in the future now is two classes, classics of the future pre-2000 and post-2000. Here we have the runner-up for the pre-2000, which is Mr. Mark Bogard. So here he's got his 1992 Lamborghini Diablo, Class runner up, congratulations. Well done, Mark, congratulations. And the winner. Now, if you're my age, you know, early 40s, you would have had. All right, 50s. You would have had this on your bedroom as your poster pickup, perhaps alongside a few other posters which we will mention. Um, 
And uh, this is everybody's favourite, the Lamborghini Countach, the anniversary edition, 1990, owned by Steve Pasha. Steve, beautiful example. Thank you so much. You are today's class winner of Classics of the Future pre-2000. Congratulations, thanks for bringing up. Two more awards before the big two of the day. As we now take a nod to the real future in looking at what might be classics of the future in 30 years time. Hurry up Pete, the bars are closed. So, classics of the future, post-2000, yeah, an absolute to die for favourite of mine, on the tour again yesterday, can you believe, is John Collins with his 2019 Ferrari SP3 JC, named after John himself, with Abdul Rahman al Yemi in the car with him. John, congratulations and thanks a million for bringing on the tour, you're an absolute legend. You probably heard Max say earlier on, this is a one-off Ferrari, but John has designed this car with Marinello down to every little last detail. He loved it so much that he first took delivery of his right-hand drive, and then he thought, you know what, I'll have a left one too when I'm in Europe. So the proud owner of two one-off Ferraris. Quite incredible. And then the winner of the last class of the day, Classics of the Future post-2000, is John Day with his 2016 McLaren 650S LM. John, many, many congratulations to you guys. You didn't think this was happening this morning, did you? Okay, right, the last two awards of the day. I can see one car, I hope there's another one looming, Sean, somewhere. Uh, this is my chairman's choice. Now, uh, this car again I saw on the tour yesterday. Walk with me, walk with me. Let's go. Just here. And um, I was so, so amazed, number one, that you would bring this car on a tour. A lot of these cars, you've got to realize, when you see them presented today here, a lot of them have actually come on trailers from the US, from Italy, from Mexico, from all across the world, and they get dropped on the lords, and that's fine. Some guys and girls like to drive their cars, which is exactly what these guys do so, so hard. This is the Espana Suiza K6 Cabriolet, my personal absolute favorite. And I think this is a pretty cool award to win, but I would, it's mine. The Chairman's Award, well done you guys, absolutely delighted. Big round of applause, please. Congratulations, thank you very much once again for bringing it. Congratulations.
Okay, and the final award of the day has to be your award. So, the team have been around all day soliciting um, with their little tablets your, your people's choice, the car that you would most like to go home in. But a good choice. And yeah. I'm delighted to tell you that you have voted for Anne Lee's 1930 Bentley 4.5 litre supercharged, the Bentley blower, which has come all the way from the US. And is in the back there looking absolutely wonderful. And let's give this to Andy, the owner sitting in the back, by his grace, the Duke of Marlborough. Little kiss as well, that doesn't go amiss. So guys, this is your award for the day. This is the biggest award that we get today, the People's Choice. And it's gone to Andy with a beautiful Bentley blower, literally off the lawns of Pebble Beach some two and a half weeks ago. And there's a little story with this. This was entered in Pebble Beach Concord. Um, Anne was there, obviously, with the car. And I got a phone call. Anne's already entered a Rolls-Royce Silver Wraith drophead on the lawns today. Beautiful car. I got a phone call saying, Andrew, I want to bring the blower over. Will it fit in a class? And we thought, for well, a minute or two, didn't we, Anne? And then we decided it simply had to come over. So the freight was organized that afternoon. It finished its time at Pebble Beach, flown over here. Anne and the whole team has come over. And Anne, I'm delighted, personally, you've won this award. Well done to the people for this choice. I think it's an amazing choice. A few words. Well, I'm, we're glad to be here. It was um, We got here in short order. And um, it's one of our favorite cars. It was owned by Wolf Bernardo. And we're just glad to be here and share it with you. Thanks so much, Anne. Massive round of applause, please, for Anne Lee with her Bentley Blower. Absolutely stunning, Anne. Congratulations. Judges, please come and pass on your, your thanks. I hope you've had a wonderful day today. Thank you for coming. I hope you come back tomorrow, maybe, to see who wins the ultimate best of show. And if not, we shall see you next year. Thank you very much indeed. And again, a massive round of applause, please, finally, for our judges. <laughs>